crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. I'm so glad you stopped by my channel. And hey, if this is your first time, make sure you click on that um, subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new tutorial. And that is normally every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So this week I thought it would be fun to do a fall project. It's getting a little bit cooler in the mornings, cooler in the evenings, the leaves are starting to change. And th so that's why I decided on a fall project. I also want to share with you a new craft um, um, item that I've discovered and it's Folk Arts Crackle. And I wanted to try it on a small project before I tried something much larger. So I've got a cute little pumpkin that we're going to put together today and I just can't wait to show you. So. I am gonna get my camera angle change and I'm gonna meet you over at my table and we're gonna get going on learning how to use Crackle um, and also some transfers to make a really cute pumpkin. So give me a second, get my camera angle change and I'll join you over at the table. Okay crafters, I'm super excited to try this project out with you today. So we are going to do this cute little pumpkin I am going to use some um, folk art crackle, which I have not tried before. I'm really excited. And I'm also going to add in a sunflower transfer to it. So I just absolutely love fall time. And I thought, what a great time to try out this crackle. I just love what it looks like. And I've been watching lots of different tutorials on it. So I thought I would give it a try. So I picked up this cute little pumpkin um, over at um, Target. Um, I love going to like their dollar spot, but this was actually over um, by where the stationery is and that type of stuff. So I'm gonna be using this. And what I like about it is the thickness, you guys. So it's gonna stand up really nice as a decoration, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, um, we don't do the crackle right away, okay? What I'm gonna do is I wanna give the pumpkin a base coat, okay? And so I'm gonna give it a dark brown and I'm using the Fark Folk Art Bark Brown um, paint. I'm gonna do that first, okay? We're gonna use the pumpkin and the khaki for our second coat. So for this first coat, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of this brown on my paper. And you guys, this is a new little tip that I've seen lots of people doing and I thought it was such a great idea. I picked up a bunch of puppy pads. This is totally waterproof on this side. Um, and I decided to try these to protect my um, table. Um, and I just thought it was such a great idea. Um, I know if you guys follow my channel, you guys know I am a garage sailor. I love picking up deals at garage sales. Well, yesterday my husband and I went garage sailing and I picked up a whole package of these puppy pads for two bucks. So I thought, what a great price to just kind of try out um, this whole idea. So I am gonna make sure that I get the sides of this also. I'm not gonna do the crackle medium um, on the sides, but I do want to um, have it painted all the way around. Okay, because I do want to be able to put this up on display. So I just love fall time. Um, my husband and I were talking yesterday. He's a summer person. I just love um, the fall time, the Christmas in the air, the leaves are changing. Um, and the fun thing about decorating with pumpkins, you guys, is this can take you all the way through Thanksgiving. So it's not like it's just up until Halloween. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that a good paint job. We're gonna let this coat totally dry, you guys. Um, and then what we do is we add the crackle medium. Now there's lots of hacks on being able to do the crackle um, with also um, Elmer's glue. Um, so that's another idea. But I thought I would start out with the folk art crackle and just see how I like that. And I am going to go ahead and paint the other side, you guys. Um, that way, if it's on display, if somebody sees the back of it, it still looks really, really nice. So again, 
just a quick coat here. I'm gonna let it dry and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to you guys and we'll do the crackle piece and the last piece when we're all done and it's all crackled is adding these transfers and I've been watching lots of different people do transfers on trays and different things so I thought it would be really fun to put one on a pumpkin. I love sunflowers so I thought that would be a good one to do it with so okay so we are all painted okay it's not going to take long for this acrylic paint to dry but I'm going to go ahead and let it dry and then I will come back to you guys as soon as that's all dry. Okay, so we are all nice and dry. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use an old ch uh, chip brush, okay? And I'm just going to put a thin coat on. And it says you don't want to overdo it and you don't want to overbrush it, okay? So I'm just going to do a thin coat and then we need to let this one dry. And it's telling me not to brush, um, you know, overbrush in one place too much. So I'm just trying to get it all covered. Okay. I guess say you guys, this is the first time I've used this stuff. Okay. And as easy as that, I just gave that a quick coat. You guys can see. Okay. We're going to let that dry. And then we are going to add a little bit of pumpkin mixed with khaki. And I think it gives the pumpkin a really cute color. Okay, so we're gonna let that one dry and I'll be back with you as soon as it's dry. Okay, so I got this all nice and dry. So it's dry to the touch, okay? And I'm gonna take some of the pumpkin um, color that I have and I just think it's a little bit bright. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna mix in some appleberry khaki. I just think it gives it a little bit different color, um, a little bit browner tone. And I just really think it is really cute, okay? Then let's see if our crackle begins, okay? They say it should start right away as it dries. I can see it starting to crackle, you guys. Oops, definitely don't want to go over it. They did say that. So let's see if I can correct that. There. Okay. You guys see that starting to crackle? It just gives it a little bit of a weathered effect. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. And then once that is dry, that was so easy, you guys. Once that is dry, I have got this really cute sunflower we're going to put on. And I thought it would be fun if I could get the leaves, these leaves to go on too. I may not do the leaves, but Definitely going to put that sunflower on. So we'll let this dry. It's definitely crackling a little bit different. I think I didn't put the paint on as thick here. I put it on a little bit thicker there. Um, so I think I actually might do my sunflower on this side. Okay. One thing I definitely learned with doing these transfers, and again, this guy, I picked up these cute sunflowers off of Etsy. It was Makaya Daughter's Etsy shop. This particular one has so many sunflowers on it. So I'll make sure I put a link down below to their shop. Uh, one thing I definitely learned when you're putting these on is you want your paint to be completely dry. And then when we get it all done, we'll put a clear coat over the top of it to preserve it. Um, and probably add like a little raffia bow or something to it. So um, I'm just gonna let this one dry. And as soon as it's dry, I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, you guys, this is all nice and dry, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is when you buy these transfers, they come in, whoops, 
they come in a larger sheet, okay? So I've got all kinds of extra options. In fact, I'm gonna try a tray next. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I am going to put, and I think I'm actually gonna let it kind of hang off a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off of the back here, okay? And then I wanna, and it's really sticky, so once you get it on there, you kinda wanna leave it, okay? And then you just take your tool and you transfer it right on, okay? And I'll use my X-Acto knife to cut off the edge there. But I just think this is just another idea of what you can do to dress up a $5 pumpkin, you guys. How cute are these gonna, is this gonna turn out? Not sure if I'm gonna use those leaves or not. We'll see once I get this on, okay? I am gonna grab my Cricut knife, precision knife, and I am going to cut right along where my pumpkin is, okay? I just want my flower to kind of look like it's fallen off, okay? And we'll use my sanding block a little bit on that just to make sure that it looks right, okay? So let's see if Lisa's got this transferred on. You can start to see if it starts to come up. It's kind of like you guys, if you are Cricut users and you've got to get that vinyl started down and once it's started down, you know, if you peel from the top, it will go really nice for you, okay? Use my fingernail there a little bit. Oh, you guys. Look how pretty that is turning out. Okay, oh, I just think that looks so cute. Okay, let's see, should we put, you know, these? And then if I add that raffia, oh, what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna let that lay over the top of it. What the heck? What happens when you start creating, you guys? You guys can just kind of play with it. Okay, I'm gonna let that hang. I think it will look cool where the um, where it has done the crackle effect on here. Okay, so I could have done this without the crackle, but I just like how the dimension adds to it. I just really. I think this is a cool, cool technique. And then I'm gonna use some polyurethane to put over the top of it just to protect it. But first, when I, after I get this done, I am gonna grab my sanding block and I'm just gonna go around the edges, okay? Let's see. Get back. I just started. get it started, it starts to peel up pretty easy. It's going to take a little bit of time. And you can just peek at it and kind of see if it's coming up or not. And there is a light outline on these around and that's where when you put that polyurethane on top, it really hides that. Oh, I love it, you guys. How cute is that little pumpkin? And how easy was that? Okay, let's grab our sanding block. Okay, I'm just going to go around the edges. Just to give it a quick little distressing. Okay. Doesn't need much, okay? I'll just double check, I got a little bit of paint that's come over. So 
So what I'll probably do, in fact, I'm gonna got my paintbrush right here and I've still got that brown out. So I think I'm just gonna clean up around there. Just around the edges. I'll let that dry. I'm gonna add a cute little bow to this with, and I think I'm just gonna do it either with burlap or raffia. Gotta go see what Lisa's got in her stash. And this little cute pumpkin is gonna be ready to go. I also have a black one, that, a bigger pumpkin that I'm doing, and I'll give you guys a look at that once I get that one all done. The crackle's still drying on that one right now. Um, but I will show you what it looks like. It's a much bigger crackle, um, but I thought it would be fun to try um, a black background, and I'm actually doing a white pumpkin. So, but sunflowers again, because Lisa likes her sunflowers. Okay, so there you go, you guys. What do you think? Oh, I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Here, let me show you this black one. It is still drying. But look at that one. That one's gonna take a little bit more time to dry. And I've got a big sunflower that I'm gonna put on that one, so. Okay, you guys, let me go grab some ribbon. We'll put a bow on this. And, well actually, no, let's not do the bow yet, Lisa. Let's go grab some polyurethane and put on the top of it. Okay, so I have already taken the lid off of this, you guys, and so I'll give you a closer up view afterwards, but this is just the Helmsman um, um, Spar Urethane, and it's the indoor-outdoor, um, and so I just had it on hand, so that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to, and this is a satin finish, okay? So I'm just going to, and I'm just using a sponge brush, right? And this is just going to protect those decals that I put on and just give this a beautiful finish. So I'm just gonna do a, just one coat over like that, as easy as that, okay? And there we have it. Isn't it just so cute? Okay, so while I let that dry, I'm gonna go check out my stash for some ribbon, and we'll add it to it, and we will be done with this really cute project. And here's a close-up view of that cute little pumpkin with the little bow that I added. I sure hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday learning how to use folk art crackle and transfers. If you're looking for other DIY projects, make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com.